Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, to a video you've all been asking for, and that is all fleets ranked from best to worst, and counters in Galaxy of Heroes. So if you're ready, hit that like button, strap in, and let's get this show on the road. This is going to be the greatest video you're watching at this very second in time. All jokes aside, there's a reason why you don't see a lot of ship videos on YouTube. It's not the most popular topic. And there's this inside joke among YouTubers in the community that ships don't get any views. But you know what? I have been seeing a slight uptick in this and I've been pushing this off for months. And hopefully it's going to be a helpful video. Although ships is not a very complicated subject because it's the slowest moving part of Galaxy of Heroes. The meta doesn't really change all that much. Maybe one once a year something changes that's why there's not a ton of resource out there because it's kind of sort of common knowledge what the best fleets are so let's start off with this as always there's a link down below to my infographic this is what i believe to be the ranking system for all the fleets inside of star wars galaxy of heroes i do believe there is a clear divide in these variety of tiers with the grandmaster being the top end galactic legends fleet more or less with the profanity as well as executor and of course there are going to be slightly different variants of all of these fleets depending on what you're trying to accomplish on offense defense profanity and executor are the kings of both offense and defensive gameplay inside of galaxy of heroes master category i'm looking at negotiator malevolence as well as chimera not quite profanity and executor level but still very much so top end fleets that are very flexible on offense and defensive gameplay and some of these fleets can even beat those grandmaster fleets we talked about and do note with the chimera it has the interceptor and i, I Technically, the Executrix of Grand Moff Tarkin can also be in that spot, too. In the Knight category, this is where we start seeing a diminishing returns on defensive fleets in Galaxy of Heroes. So the Knight category is mainly meant to be offensive powerhouses to punch into the master category and some of them even into the grandmaster fleets one thing to note in the knight category we do have the home one in there but it has the millennium falcon if you don't hit the millennium falcon notice it goes down a tier into the padawan category same thing with the empire fleet once you have the interceptor you have a master level fleet whether it's chimera or executrix once you don't have the interceptor it definitely knocks itself down a tier and then the padawan category not much to brag about here akbar is kind of not the same without the millennium Falcon that gets stolen away by the profanity and then we also have Holdo mm, definitely one of the newer fleets that's a bit lackluster not amazing on offense not amazing on defense really it's kind of that last second trash fleet you put on defense or it's uh, an emergency cleanup fleet then you notice Mace Windu's in the youngling category and there are no ships because they don't really even have a fleet in the grand picture of fleets so pretty cut simple and dry in terms of ranking the fleets in Galax Spheres so I thought let's add maybe an extra layer of complexity to the this video and let's talk about what are the common ways of countering the fleets which is usually the larger question at hand not so much what are the good ones because it's kind of obvious with only seven ish capital ship leads there's not a lot of debate in terms of the rankings how do you beat them is kind of the key question let's start back up in the grandmaster category with the profundity the newest addition to galaxy of heroes really besides doing an executor and profundity mirror match and of course if you want more details on the exact compositions and lineups just go ahead and type it in youtube profundity counter and insert the capital ship you want to use you're going to find a ton of videos this is more of an overview and just giving you the knowledge to go search for what you're looking for specifically the two ways that we found that seem to beat it fairly well is malevolence as long as you have the imperial tie bomber and some decent Geonosians. And the Executrix Tarkin's fleet with the TIE Interceptor seem to be two solid ways of beating the profundity without using a top level fleet now with the executor there's a lot more variety depending on what the starting lineup is you might see a triple attacker lineup well that's going to open up some additional counters you're going to see the standard lineup which is razor chris hounds tooth xanadu blood you're going to see lineups that don't have xanadu blood in the starting lineup and use ig2000 there's going to be some flexibility and depending on what you're going to do the counter is going to change but the normal bread and butter staple lineup with the starting lineup of razor crest houndstooth xanadu blood again besides using an executor mirror match or profundity the finalizer is truly the best bang for buck counter and really the first consistent counter we had to the executor malevolence is also another one that's a bit hit or miss before the finalizer got the tie echelon you kind of had to rely on the malevolence and tie fighter putt and hope that things go your way it was kind of a 50 50 counter depending on how the opening play turned out but still nonetheless some people use it to this day otherwise you're kind of left to the whim of what the lineup is if for example you're seeing the triple attacker lineup for executor that has razor crisp xanadu blood and ig 2000 you might have the opportunity of using a home one with millennium falcon 
or negotiator if you got some pretty decent plo coons take a look at the master category negotiator used to be kind of like the executor back in the day of course a lot more counters have been born since then obviously executor profundity goes without saying they're the hard counter to pretty much everything but also i'm going to throw in the tie interceptor empire lineup whether chimera or executrix whatever you want to use the interceptor kind of makes it a very hard counter to the negotiator so it's a nice way of getting some pretty good banners up against them you could also opt for a negotiator mirror match which you know it usually goes all right but i try to stay away from mirror matches if all possible home one of akbar another probably one of the better budget ways of handling a negotiator without needing a top level fleet and of course you got malevolences that also work fairly well and you might consider finalized to be a, a good counter but i'm gonna throw it in soft counter because there are some nuances and sometimes you know things just don't go your way and especially if they have hounds too it can complicate things a little bit but usually i think finalize is more of a good counter but i'm gonna be a bit more conservative and knock it down to the soft counter malevolence is gonna be probably more useful on offense nowadays whether it's handling an interceptor lineup handling the profundity handling the executor but if you do come across one negotiator very easy ways to get some pretty high level banners with the starting lineup of anakin fives rebel y wing you can and uh, reinforce them just plow rebels are also a fairly decent counter as well as the tie interceptor imperial lineup let's talk about the empire interceptor counter so whether it's chimera with the interceptor executrix with the interceptor i prefer chimera with interceptor that's definitely a superior way of handling it and plus thinking down the road the executrix is going to be used the new site so it's good to kind of just get in the habit of seeing where the interceptor belongs malevolence tons of genos is a very very good way of quickly dealing with those interceptor lineups sometimes blitzing out the entire empire lineup before they even have a chance to get the interceptor on the field negotiator could go well as long as you just make sure you don't accidentally hit a tie fighter pilot feed them turn meter and then you also have things like the rebels as well as finalizer the main strategy being as long as you blitz down the imperial tie bomber you're gonna be good but if you run short on time you don't finish them off and the tie bomber's still alive that's when things get a little bit tricky and really the last three major ish fleets you might see on defense are gonna be home one finalizer as well as radis i'm not gonna go too much in depth on these because they aren't very good on defense and tons of things can hard counter them you're likely going to use them either just for trash defense and just say hey, you know it is what it is or you're going to be using them primarily for offense and honestly that's really all there is to it the ships there's not a lot of breath diversity sheer quantity of ships and especially capital ships they've been slowly fleshing it out for example this year they got that profundity up and running and they also fleshed out the finalizer fleet not a ton of love for the resistance fleet unfortunately and home one kind of took a little bit of a step down and especially in grand arena where at most you're going up against three fleets on defense but not nearly at the rate of the character meta and that's why you just don't see a lot of conversations on it but it has been overdue and hopefully this is a good update to keep you up to speed on what's going on in the fleet meta in galaxy of heroes one more additional resource i want to throw in there as always swgh.g do one of the best if not the best free resource for galaxy of heroes has a lot of data on actual battle driven information on how to counter ships so click on ship counters and let's say you want to go up against the executor and you want to go up against let's say the triple attacker lineup simply just click on the pictures of the ships you're seeing and it's going to show you the most common ways of beating these particular fleets that you're going you know, that you're going to encounter and as you see you got profundity and you also have the negotiator being some of the most common ways of beating it and if you want even more data take off the cutoff and you're going to see a lot more data that you could be looking at here. So another fantastic resource, if you need something specific and you wanna see if other people have fought a specific lineup that's not very common. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And more importantly, remember as you're subscribing, just always say it's great to be in the empire today.